Hey, what's up, guys? A uh, quick look at this game here I picked up uh, at my brother's friend's game store down in West Virginia. And uh, it's on sale. It's called Centipede. It's in a board game from the old Atari game. I thought, wow, you know, how they do that? It sounded pretty cool. Uh, it's rule book. It's pretty nice. Uh, 30 to 40 minute play time, two or four players. I do not recommend with, with four. Just by reading the rule book, never played it, but two players. Uh, the rule book has the uh, old looking digital words format. Well, the headings do. Um, but the game is basically centipede. One player is the gnome. They call him the gnome. Down here, it slides back and forth. Uh, these mushrooms are uh, randomly, well, sort of lamp. Three mushrooms get put out by the centipede player and three mushrooms get put out by the uh, other player. At the beginning of the game, three mushrooms cannot be in a row. So, um, The centipede player has the, the head and then five segments. And he starts on one of these spawn points going either way that he wants. And he moves according to this card that tells you how many uh, segments you have. So if you're a length of six, you have a speed of one. Oh, speed of one. Oh, right on. So actually... He's going to be like this. So he's going to be like that to start. And the rest of his pieces are off the board. Um, and as he, he'll be slow, you know, according to the car. And then as you bust him up into different segments, his speed will get quicker. And uh, the fleas move at that speed. The spiders move at that speed. Plus any speed bonuses. The gnome player has cards down here uh, that can help him. There's two of these. I think these are re-rolls. There's two of these, which I think maybe hits. Um, there's two of these I think are moves, extra moves. And there's one of uh, one of these, which I'm not sure what this is. But what? And then there's this this dice, these dice, and then. What you do is you roll your these dice and you put them on the dice card like so and then on um, all the dice there'll be there's symbols on each face that uh, allow your known player to move and do certain things in certain ways and you when it's your turn, you take one of these off your card and you use it and you do what you're allowed to do with that dice. And you could also uh, enhance what you're doing with the die through the use of these cards. But once you use these cards, you flip them over to their use side and you can't use them again for the rest of the game. So, um, the centipede player uh, also has a deck of centipede cards. He gets a starting hand of three and these cards let him do various things. Uh, some of those things might be spawning spiders or fleas. Um, there are uh, tokens in here. These are the spiders. And these are the fleas. And of course, if you remember the old Atari game, the fleas will move straight up and down, dropping mushrooms behind them. And the, uh, the spiders will move, you know, weird, weird like across the board. And there's rules in there to tell you how to move them. Um, there's, uh, they give you two different color gnome tokens, um, a green and a blue. I'm playing with blue. And they also give you uh, two color of centipedes, green and um, blue. And 
so I'm using green for my centipede. Uh, they give you enough spider and fleet tokens and uh, a lot of these mushroom tokens. And then the uh, players basically take turns uh, doing what they're, they can until one or the other wins. Um, I know that uh, this fella here can only move, if you move him, you have to move all the way but one direction. And the, you, you can't just move this way and then say you have three moves, you can't go one, two, or say you have four moves, you can't go one, two, flip, three, four, you, you can't do that. You, you gotta take all your moves in one direction, I do remember that. But I'm reading through the rules, got the game set up. And I'm getting ready to solo, solo through it here. Um, rules come in at 13 pages. Uh, the last section is how to do the four player variant, which I don't think this is going to be that much fun with. Uh, but there's uh, many illustrations, uh, how to move a flea, how to move a spider, uh, all kinds of examples full collar explains how to do just about everything in here uh, looks like it might be a pretty fun little game um, I'll check it out and let you guys know